I never thought that being a woman had anything to do with being funny until I was in school in fifth grade. This guy told me, you're not funny, you're a girl. Oh my God, is that true? I struggled a lot with identity as a kid. I spent a lot of my childhood growing up between Venezuela and the States. So for me, comedy was the way for me to breach these divides and to be myself in a way that felt natural. I was born in Nigeria and I lived with my mom um, and she owned a store. One day, out of nowhere, a pot of hot oil actually fell on me and my younger sister. And that's how I endured the scars that I have today. Physics was the thing that made me feel like there were answers to the most interesting questions in the world. When I was studying physics, the thing I noticed most was when I would walk into a room and it's full of dudes. I'm like, oh, another class. I'm one of the only women. When I was in grade eight, I lost the majority of my vision. It was a really, really dark time in my life, no pun intended, and I turned to YouTube. You know, I was getting bullied in school, picked on, but my mom always told me that there's a purpose to the reason why this happened to me, and I feel like now I am fulfilling the purpose. YouTube and the internet is so different than any other platform because authenticity is like the biggest catalyst to success. And staying authentic when you have people watching can sometimes be stressful. I look at the initial videos and they're like over the top, crazy, goofy, but then the audience was, was like, you're too goofy, we want you to be serious, and I listened to that. So then there are these videos where I'm like, very serious and I'm trying to be like a serious science presenter and then it kind of mellows out to more me. There was other aspects of my life that I that I noticed I wasn't fully embracing and that was some of the blindness, some of my blind quirks. If I was holding something backwards, I would edit that moment out. But then I got to a point where I was like, you know what? It's the reality, it's the truth and it's okay because it's me. Originally, when I started making these videos, I was like, no one's gonna wanna watch this. Like, look at me. I'm a Jewish, white Venezuelan. Like, there's like 14 of us. But something I learned is the more specific I was to who I was, the more universal my content became and the more people resonated with what I made. I used to come on camera with one layer of foundation and sort of pretend that I didn't have anything. Honestly, I wasn't doing any harm to anybody but myself because I was hiding myself. You have a chance to do something that no one else can do, which is be you. Like, be you, unapologetically. I had faced a lot of negativity and meanness and hate in my life in person. I knew going into it that I was probably gonna face that online as well. But it was interesting to me to see what type of hate I received. I'm a whore all the time. Anything that has to do with my sexuality, even though I never even talk about sex. Someone told me that I shouldn't be confident because the only reason why people tell me I'm beautiful is because they feel bad for me. They've said things like, why do they keep hiring these women to host these science shows? Where are all these women they're talking about hosting science shows? And also, this is my channel. I, I, it's, I did it. <laughs> Sometimes the reason why people did pick on you is because they wish that they have the strength that you have. My nephew watches my videos religiously and I don't want him seeing in the comment section something that will make him feel sad for me or for himself. So I use community management features like blocking certain words so that you know I don't have to go through all of my comments to make sure no one's calling me a bad or dirty word. I've banned kitchen, like go back to the kitchen. Girls don't belong in science. I'll definitely block channels if they're overly negative consistently. I made sure to reward the positive comments and reward the people that were always there telling me wonderful things. Because I try so hard to spread love, to spread positivity, and by putting that out there, it's often what I receive back. I do think that YouTube has definitely helped a lot of us to speak out. I am so grateful that my culture and my identity, I'm able to share with not only people like myself, but people that are completely different than me and changing their opinions on what they think people are like. 
You don't have to be super serious. You can be yourself, you can be goofy, and you can be a woman talking about science. Every single day we receive comments and emails telling me the ways in which you know I've helped them, I've changed their lives. And hearing that from them really inspires me and fuels me to keep going. A lot of the times we do feel like we are the only one dealing with issues, but when we really come out and share, there's so many people that can relate. And you're just like, wow, I'm not alone. We've got some really cool stories to tell. So do we need women on YouTube? Yes, we need a lot more. Come on over. Forget about all the assumption that you might have on your head, because it's honestly all in your head. Just do it. When people tell you you can't, or that you won't, or that you shouldn't, that there's no place for a woman, use that as fuel and turn it into something positive to inspire you to prove all of them wrong. Your voice is valid, you can, you will, you should, and I'm so excited to see you do it.